Welcome to Electra Online. Now let's take a look at the concept of the slope of a line in more mathematical terms. So typically when we talk about the slope of a line, we place the line on an xy plane. So here the horizontal axis is considered the x-axis, the vertical axis is considered the y-axis. And then here we drew a line on that xy plane and the point where the line crosses the y-axis, that's usually called the y-intercept, and we are going to use that at some later time. Then we place two points on the line. So we have point one over here and point two over there. Notice that point two is to the right of point one. We usually give each of the points coordinates. In other words, the first number represents the x-coordinate, in this case, x equals two, and y, the y-coordinate, in this case, y equals 3. So that's the point 2, 3, indicating the x-value for that point is 2 and the y-value for that point is 3. If you draw a vertical line from the point to the x-axis, you get the value on the x-axis corresponding to that value right there. And if you draw a horizontal line from the point to the y-axis, notice that this value for the y-value here corresponds to the y-value on the y-axis. So you can say that this is point 1, point 2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, so we can label them as 1, 2, uh, 3, 4, and 5. So you can see how those values stack up on the y-axis. And we do the same on the x-axis. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. All right. So then our second point has the x-value, the x-coordinate as we call it, of 8, and the y-coordinate of 5. So that's point 0.85. This is point 0.23, so let's call this point 1, and let's call this point 2. And we can actually pick any two points aligned, it doesn't really matter. But then to calculate the slope, we need to change in the y direction divided by the change in the x direction. As we go from point 1 to point 2, and point 2 must always be to the right of point 1. Here graphically we can see that this distance is the change in the x direction, this distance is the change in the y direction. This triangle symbol there means change, so that means the change in y and the change in x. To find the change in y, what we can do is we can take the y value of the second point and subtract from that the y value of the first point. So that would be 5 minus 3. To find the horizontal distance travel from left to right, we can then take the value of the, the x value of the second point, which is 8, and subtract from that the x value of the first point, which is 2. And so those two ratio, that ratio of those two changes will give us the slope of the line. Here you can see from y2 minus y1, we get 5 minus 3. x2 minus x1, we get 8 minus 2. That's 2 over 6, or 1 third. So 1 third is the slope of that line. And again, it's simply the ratio of the distance traveled in the x direction, or the distance traveled in the y direction, divided by the distance traveled in the x direction. Since the change in the y direction is upward, it's a positive slope. If the change in the y direction had to be downward, it would have been a negative slope. And that's how we mathematically define the concept of the slope of a line. 